Greetings. I am Goldenwing, and welcome back to the Sunday Papers. Where today we are taking a look at a game called Empyrean Galactic Survival. Empyrean Galactic Survival is developed and published by Elon Game Studios. It's done in the Unity 5 engine. It was actually released in uh, August of 2015. And uh, it describes itself... Um, as an open-world space survival indie adventure game. Again, it went into early access August 5th, 2015. Um, the uh, development studio's design uh, intention was to focus on making exploration interesting. Uh, in an interview with uh, the team, they referenced a German proverb that translates to the journey is the reward. They said they wanted to make their game compared to No Man's Sky, um, in, uh, in the idea that exploration should be fun first, and then work on expanding the game to support a massive number of planets. Um, so let's get a new game going here, and uh, we'll take a look here. We'll get a random seed going. Sure, that looks good. Fantastic. So Empyrean Galactic Survival is, is similar to other games you might have played. Um, first thing that comes to my mind is something like Space Engineers. Um, where we are crashing a planet. This game is a whole lot of fun and it looks gorgeous. We're crashing down in our escape pod here. That red outpost is something I definitely don't want anything to do with. Crunch. Oh, let's hop into our escape pod. We'll grab what we can here. like to get my air weapon out and our uh, drill out. And here we are. So I'm going to sort of get to wandering around here. And let's start heading for that crashed shuttle. So Empyrean Galactic Survival is a whole lot of fun. If you like exploring, um, just generally in games, I, I absolutely love exploring in games. Um, just looking around for different um, interesting bits or uh, places to see, then uh, and this may be the game you, you're interested to. That's a big rock. I don't know if I can mine this one. Never seen a rock this big. That sound is a little loud. Let me see if I can turn the volume down a bit here. There, we'll see if that's better. So, Empyrean Galactic Survival, I played um, back in 2015 when it first came out. And uh, boy, I gotta tell you, they have made huge advancements. Um, since uh, since I messed around with it so long ago. Ooh, berries. Um, there, uh, there are other planets. Um, you can build spaceships. Also, there's dinosaurs. Um, I think you can build stations. You can go to different systems. In other words, there's absolutely no way I can show you um, all of the content in uh, the half hour we've got here. But suffice it to say, this game is a lot of fun and very, very pretty. Excuse me, sir. I want to steal your plants. Most of the animals around here are not, uh, not terribly aggressive. Some are. Like that... Uh, red encampment that we saw back there. 
And we've arrived at our crashed shuttle here. Not our crash shuttle. Soon to be our crash shuttle. Let's kind of wander in here and see what we can find. Okay. We've got some food. Now some of the stuff um, has perish timers. I'm going to go ahead and put... Well, not plant fibers, maybe. Put some of this stuff in the fridge here. Got some plants we can take advantage of. That's cool. Now the next thing I want to do is I want to change the faction of this to private. That claims this as ours. We'll fuel that up in a bit, but we need to grab some resources. Now we can see uh, deposits um, underground. And uh, definitely get to mining those. But one of the best ways, or easiest ways rather, to come up with resources initially is to hunt around for those big boulders on the surface. Like that one. If we head over here, um, we've got a drill. Now if you right click with the drill, you can go to resource mining or stone removal. Stone removal, as it says, is just for removing large rocks, say, off the surface. Uh, resource mining, on the other hand, is for drilling out under the ground. We'll go to stone removal. There we go. In the lower left there, you can see plus seven iron ore. So we'll... Uh, Kind of take a hunt around here. See what we can find. We do have a bit of a jetpack that we can take advantage of. One of the kind of I think the the neater parts about exploring in this game is if you hit F5, you actually have a drone. Now this isn't like, um, you know, creative mode uh, camera that you might get in Space Engineers. This is legit part of part of the game, and you can see if I fly away from myself, it'll start to lose there. It'll start to lose contact. That's that's not a glitch in the video. That's that's the game. So that can help us out quite a bit. <clears throat> Excuse me. Let's go ahead and mine up some more rocks. We get there. Silicon, some more iron. I want to pick up a bit of resources here. Like I said, your first day or two more about trying to collect some basic resources to survive. Copper, iron ore, nice. Let's uh, get our drone out, get some height. Here's our escape pod. Just sort of looking around more of those stones. Like there's one over there. Let's head off in a this early direction. Well, he's been there a while. game has come a long way since the last time I played. So much, uh, much more developed. There's another rock. We 
we get there? Copper ore. That would be my stamina running down. Iron ore. Okay, so we've got a bit of resources here. We get a uh, survival constructor right off the bat, so let's take a look at that. What we can do with this is we can put our... Uh, we don't have enough silicon. We can put our iron in there, our copper. And uh, we can have it process up our iron and copper. Now the resource production works in, in fives. So we only have three silicon. We'll need to get a couple more if we want to actually produce anything, or rather refine it into these. See how it says silicon and get needs five ore. all of that out, and then shift F will pick that up. Cool. I'll tell you what, <clears throat> I'm going to uh, run around and pick up some more rocks, and uh, I'll be right back. Copper and iron, sweet. One of the really coolest parts. Um, or at least most striking, I think, about uh, this game looks like is the water. Let's head down to this lake and see what we can see. Also, if you're careful with your jetpack, it works really well to move you along without bleeding out your stamina bar so much. You just want to be a little careful about uh, how high you get. All damage is definitely a thing in this game. Check this out. Uh, how cool is that? Looks like the sun might be going down a bit. Let's see what we can do about our resources here. Got uh, more stuff we can refine. The crushed stone actually works really well. You can turn it into stone dust, and then I think you can turn the stone dust um, into cement. Yeah, two stone dust turns into cement and then cement turns into concrete blocks, which ends up being a, a decent way to build your your first base there. There we are with a reasonable amount of resources here. And one of the first things that's uh, most common to make is a, a motorbike. And to do that, we're gonna need a motorbike construction kit, which takes a motor, nanotubes, optical fiber, electronics, and steel plate. So let's get a few steel plate. Get a few nanotubes. How many optical fiber did we need? Two? Alright. I need uh, an electronic. make there. And that gives us a motorbike construction kit. This will definitely be something you want to grab off the bat there. Now with that, we can make our motorbike. Dum, 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 dum. stuff here. Uh, 
Now we'll take this. Get our bike out. Damn. This will make it much easier to get around. Let's see if we can't head back to our uh, that crashed shuttle we found. Be a decent place to spend the first night. I might actually stop at that Prometheum deposit on the way. Shift F, we'll pick that up. How close we can get to this Prometheum. Deposit. Okay. So, if you see those blue outlines, that's the Prometheum ore. Now that's showing because I have an ore scanner in my inventory. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to back away from it. And we'll switch this guy into resource mining. Pull out our drone. Check this out. Remember in Minecraft how you're not supposed to mine straight down? Well, in this game, you don't have to. The drone will mine for us. The closer we get here, the thicker the outlines of the blue become. I'd say that's enough for now. And come back. Look at that. 452 Prometheum ore. Nice. Grab our bike. Head back to our shuttle. Okay, so, now that we've got some stuff, let's see what we can do here. Now, one of the drawbacks to the survival constructor is you can't actually put it indoors. It doesn't go indoors. It has to go outside. But that's okay. We'll put it out here. And I'm actually going to toss all this Prometheum ore in it. And ask it to make a bunch of Prometheum pellets. And the pellets we'll be able to use to make a bunch of uh, fuel packs. And we do have five fuel packs on us. Well, let's go see if we can figure out... This thing does have a... Uh, generator in it, doesn't it? Yeah, there it is. Right under there. Small generator. Let's head inside. Find the fuel tank. And 
and we'll put our fuel packs in there. And if we hit P as in Paul, you can see we've got 13% fuel. Flip the power on. Turn the signals and the turrets off. I don't think it has any turrets. We certainly don't need oxygen. There. Now we've got some power. And that means that our bridge is running. And we'll put the rest of the food that we found in it. Might as well keep that preserved. Nice. Okay. That uh, little blue shield there would keep in or out the... Um, the atmosphere. So if we were in space or on a planet that didn't have a, an atmosphere at all or didn't have a friendly atmosphere, that's what that shield's about. Of course, that only works if you have uh, <sighs> you have a uh, power. That is. Let's see how this is doing. Get the control, yeah. Control click gets rid of those. And that is probably plenty there. Now the next thing that's common to build is a large constructor. That's going to take two computers, five steel plates, put our resources back in here. Two computers, huh? We need a couple of electronics. Let's uh, go ahead and get rid of those. Did I say two computers? Yeah. Make two computers. Ten mechanical components. How many do we get for one? Two. Make four more. Four optical fibers. And two motors. Motors. I require more nanotubes. And another electronic. Is that satisfying? No, we needed two of those. Okay. More tubes. Another motor. Large constructor. Now, the large constructor is cool because it will, uh, if we ask it to, say, build a large constructor, it will go through and um, build all the subcomponents for us. It will automatically do the calculations for, you need two computers, and to make two computers, you need, uh, you know, steel plate, optical fiber, and electronics, and to do those, you need copper and silicon. It will do all of that for us, which is kind of nice. We have our stuff here. Turn him off. Pick him up. See where we put this thing. I think this is kind of big. Let me build it on top of myself. Maybe we take some of this stuff out. Hmm. 
find a nice spot to put this, and I'd rather not have it be at the bottom of the ramp. That seems like a silly place. Up, up. Had you, up, up, up. Had you for a second. Don't worry, I'll get this. Wonder, can I build it from here? Oh, I can. Okay. Maybe I will build it at the top of the room. Yeah, I see it's huge. Only build you in awkward places. Okay. Well, you know what? That's fine. I'm good with that. Looks a little silly, but I'm fine with it. So, um, it's getting pretty dark. Uh, tell you what, let me, uh, let me hang out here until morning. And uh, I'll bring you back in. It's not so dark. I do have a Good morning, everyone. Remember when I told you this game looked fantastic? Yeah, I wasn't kidding. So it is a beautiful morning. I'm gonna have some waffles. Because I have waffles. Yep, now you want waffles. I know. Go do I. So it is a gorgeous morning. We made it through safe and sound. Our uh, instructor over here finished a bunch of fuel. Like a bunch of fuel. Our crashed ships all fueled up, which is great. This game is fantastic. Um, again, there's no way I can show you all of it, but hopefully I've, I've shown you enough to uh, get you a little interested there. So much fun. I did want to show you one other thing. Um, for the astute of you uh, who noticed, we have been gaining experience, which um, opens up unlock points. And this is the uh, the tech tree. Um, and you can use this to, to unlock uh, different research bits. So we can, uh, you know, we can research the plant grow light. Um, and... Uh, you know, we can make cannon turrets. One of the things that you might want to grab to start with is a multi-tool. Um, you know, multi-tools are, are cool because they allow you to uh, change, and rotate, basically do different bits and pieces um, with uh, constructing and deconstructing. and Just one of those things that you, you're going to want to have, see. Um, if we pop back over here, I think... Weapons and items, multi-tool. Yeah, see, we'll need uh, mechanical components, electronics, and optical fiber. And if you notice, those are all in yellow. Um, I do believe that means we uh, we need them to make this item, but we do not have them. If I select this, there. See, it'll queue up all the bits that we need. It'll make all of those, and then it'll make our multi-tool. Now, uh, the tools, the drill... Uh, the uh, chainsaw, the multi-tool, uh, and certainly the weapons um, all require some sort of uh, ammo, basically. Um, so if we make a, uh, a multi-charge here, I'll put those in the inventory, uh, then we'll be able to make some ammo for our multi-tool. And uh, we might as well make a few more of those. Now multi-tool in hand. I right-click, you'll see we get deconstruct, disassemble, repair, change and rotate, and upgrade. So this is, um, this is a, a better way to try and, uh, you know, deal with things. Um, uh, deconstruct and disassemble are sort of sound similar. Deconstruct lists, uh, constructing own and public structures will always return components. Disassemble returns intact blocks uh, for structures that you own. 
Um, so since we, uh, we claimed this by going under, to do where was it? Yeah, by going under here um, and changing the faction from public to private, that means we we own this building. So if I come in and and try and say uh, deconstruct this uh, uh, this growing plot, assuming. I reloaded the weapon. And you'll see we got the whole growing plot. Now that of course doesn't work for the, uh, the broken bits. So like this piece, we can... Uh, we can... I'm getting my terminologies, we can deconstruct as opposed to disassemble. Since they're all kinds of broken. And we'll get the... Uh, the components back. Well, the cool thing about this is you can uh, you can do the whole thing from from your drone. There, see. I can uh, flip this back to disassemble. We can grab these bits. And these are kind of damaged, so we'll deconstruct those. And now if we go back, we've got a bunch more stuff. We've got the truss blocks that we picked up, as well as some of the bits and pieces that we disassembled. But that is about all the time that we've got for for this episode. Um, I hope you, uh, you enjoyed it and have a decent idea as to what... Uh, Empyrean Galactic Survival has to offer. As you can see in the upper left, this is Alpha version 7.3.3, so it is most certainly still in development. Um, but what a fantastic game. Um, and uh, as I was pointing out earlier, this is the map of the planet that we're on. And it is huge. And this is the map of the sector that we're in. So that's uh, Akua, Akua, not good with pronunciations. Um, we've also got a trading post in this system, and uh, another planet, a couple other planets. So, lots of cool stuff uh, to explore and to have some fun with. So, I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Uh, it is available on Steam for $20, or your regional equivalent. Um, it is a whole lot of fun. And uh, I uh, encourage you all to go out and give it a shot there and have some fun. Um, if you'd like to see more of this, please leave me a comment below. We uh, might do a series on this one, I'm not sure. But uh, at any rate, have a fantastic weekend. Alright, have a good one.